And what is it saying? That as a young man, I experienced, I began to experience some, or uh, hear about some men who had men of, who were men of passion, men who walked in the power of passion and purity, and they did that in the face of difficult circumstances. They were men of purity, but they could not be men of purity without God's help. So God was a big factor in them being pure. So those, these role models were, were, were very powerful impression in my mind. And so I want to encourage those of us who are uncles and fathers here, that listen man, get your youth them exposed to the word of God and to the, the examples of men like Joseph. We heard earlier Reverend Blair talk about man have to run sometime for your life. Don't play like you're invincible because you're not invincible. So man have to go on some long fasting and something and feel like, boy, nothing can test them. But you don't want to go across the border. When the Holy Spirit says, listen, you need to stop and you need to turn around. Don't go chance it under there. Walk on the edge and I see how long you can walk on the edge because you will drop off, young men. All right, so the meaning of passion is what? Fervor, zeal, excitement. What we're talking about, you can't find why you were born on planet Earth just by being fenke fenke. So you have to get up and say, you want me want this thing. And the Spirit of God is here today. God's presence is here. And he wants you to believe him in this hour. We're talking about career goals 10 years down the road. But right now, in this meeting right now, I want to challenge you right now to say out of your own mouth, God, I want what you have for me. Come on, somebody do it right now. Come on, man. Talk it with some passion, man. God, I listen, man. Come again. God, I want what you have for me. I want everything that God has for me. And so you have to come to God with fervor, with zeal, with singleness of mind, with some kind of excitement. Because listen to me, what God designed you to be, that is the most potent thing on planet Earth. If you ever find what God designed you to be, you will be the most potent force on planet Earth. Why? Because all of the forces of God and heaven will be behind you and pushing you. So 